Dave, how are you? Hi, doing well, Alex. Great. Dave McCrory of VMware, who is here to show Cloud Foundry to the folks at Oscar. I'm Alex Williams of Services Angle. And curious, what are people coming by? What are they asking about? What are they curious about the Cloud Foundry platform? Uh, they're really curious about what Cloud Foundry is, what it can do for them. Uh, is it really open source? Uh, can they run it behind their firewall as well as make us use it as a public platform? Um, they're trying to understand uh, what open platform as a service it is, how it would really work for them. So there's still some, a lot of people who are still trying to get familiar with the concept? I think so, I think so, especially inside uh, the developers, uh, software engineers, really trying to learn and understand how this would really work for them. Uh, and then at the same time, you see IT bots coming by and trying to figure out how is this different from that uh, automated infrastructure that I heard or something. It's really trying to differentiate between infrastructure as a service and platforms. Great. And what do they want to use it for? What are some of the use cases that you're going to uh, So a lot of the use cases right now are around trying to make it easier for enterprises to get development done faster in a more consistent way, especially in very large enterprises. They're interested in trying to figure out how to supply their developers with environments and like virtual machines or pure infrastructure. Trying to move the trying to make it so the developers are not ready how to not how to run the infrastructures. Because they want to use Agile and they I mean, we're want the to have that infrastructure so they can Most test people spend their time trying to That's right, they want to test daily to the apps. And once they get an application developed, they don't want to have to change the code to get the data production. And that's something that Cloud Foundry does. You can use cloudfoundry.com, sign up for a free trial, learn, test, push code, once you get everything the way you like it. Uh, you can deploy the open source from the code repo today in the future. Uh, potentially a commercial product that affects the exact same thing, which is you can deploy code to the production environment in the same way, same tools, and if it worked when you were doing it in development, it will work in production instead of... We have tons of VMware, why not? We like to look at things from a services angle. Who are you partnering with? What are you doing with this? So uh, we're partnering with an array of companies, uh, companies such as uh, Tengen, with, uh, they make MongoDB. Uh, we're also partnering with uh, several uh, platform companies that are actually deriving their public cloud platform as a service from the Cloud Foundry solution. Um, and we're also bringing in other partners to, uh, to make it even easier to use Cloud Foundry itself as well as third-party services that are going to be integrated in the cloud platform. That would be capabilities. And if you want to be able to do something uh, that's not built in either to your infrastructure, your deployment, or your maybe it's something that's in cloud foundry, or you want something that's not in cloud foundry, you want to be able to leverage a service. Something beyond Twitter, but something that's maybe like log management, or maybe it's something like uh, indexing, or something like that. Uh, being able to provide those services as well. That's very close to services. Why are they so eager to partner yeah. now? Yeah. What is the market saying about platforms from your guiding perspective? The market is saying that they've been waiting for a platform as a service. There, there were already platform as a service solutions out in the market. None of them could you actually roll the code behind your firewall or choose where you'd like to deploy that code besides where it's sat instantiated already in the lab. That was your only choice. Uh, cloud Foundry gives you the ability to create a cloud anywhere you like or use other clouds that are already up and available and have a consistent experience across all of them. That has been a very, very big thing. Dave, thank you very much for taking some time to talk to us. Thank you. Alex.